Andrea, using the president's own words, he said early in the speech, Americans see the threat of terrorism as a cancer with no immediate cure. Based on what you heard from the president last night, should Americans feel that at least there is a cure down the road? No, and I thought that was actually a bad metaphor to use because people think of cancer in one way. And what he needed to project, as Mark was saying, is that we have solutions. And in fact, with no new strategy to announce, having elevated this to a Sunday night primetime speech from the Oval Office, which is, you know, incredibly important. Rarefied air. It's rarefied air, as you point out. And to not have a new strategy, to not explain new military options or new political options or to embrace some sort of unifying vision really is a problem. Our new poll is indicating that there are real concerns about terrorism and there is a partisan divide on this, but uh, so many people are now after Paris and now, of course, San Bernardino bringing it home. He needed to speak after Paris. We, it, it, it was too long for him to not try to correct the imagery that he had conveyed. Well, in fairness, he did hold a press conference after Paris. But a press conference is not, and a press conference doesn't convey that. He needed to address the nation sooner, a lot of critics in his own party say. And in fact, he came to this position last night because of Democrats as well as Republicans, but primarily Democrats in, this, in the leadership who are up for Senate seats, saying you've got to deal with this. this isn't the country a, is really scared. This isn't a business as usual moment. Right. And too much of what he's done, including last night, even using the Oval Office, was business as usual. A re a repeating basically where, what he thinks the right policy is with nothing new and no sense of urgency, which is what a lot of Americans are feeling. Mark Halpern, Andy.